Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Disneyland Paris. I am so excited. I've always wanted to come here and today is the day. A lot of people have told me that this is like the prettiest Disney park that they have ever made and I cannot wait to see it for myself. We are gonna ride all of the rides, eat lots of food and just have a beautiful Disneyland Paris kind of day. Anywho, let's go do this. This is a lot like Disneyland in California where you have Disney Village in the middle, kind of like downtown Disney. And then on one side you have Walt Disney Studios Park. And then you have on the other side Disneyland Paris Park. And we're going to spend most of our time in Disneyland Paris today. And I think we're going to make our way there now. I was going to head right on into the park, but I needed to go back and actually get a hoodie because it's 40 degrees out. But I'm excited to show you guys a sneak peek of the new Disney 100 uh, Roosevelt's line that's coming out soon. And uh, I think it actually looks good with the performance hoodie. So now I'm a little bit ready to go because it is like 40 degrees out here. It is definitely a lot colder than Florida, I can tell you that. To the left, you have Walt Disney Studios Park. And then to the right, you have Disneyland Paris, but first I think we have to cut through the Disneyland Paris Hotel, which is in front of us. That's not the castle actually. The castle is beyond that and I cannot wait to see it in person. This is going to be great. The entryway of Disneyland Paris is amazing. It's so beautiful. I wish I could stay at the Disneyland Paris Hotel, but it's currently closed at the moment for, I think what they're doing is a refurbishment. So that just means I gotta come back one day and I'm okay with that. This is how you actually enter the park. You go underneath the Disneyland Paris Hotel right here and it actually takes you right on into the park. But how beautiful is this though? Wow. It's so amazing. Right now, Disneyland Paris is celebrating their 30th anniversary, and it's so cool because we caught it right before it ends, so we're gonna be able to actually see it regular and during the 30th. Oh, wow, look at that. What a beautiful main street and castle. It's definitely bigger than Walt Disney World, and I'm in love already. Like, it's funny how I'm just like, so excited and I just walked a couple of steps into Disneyland Paris and we have a whole day here. Like I mentioned, this is my first time ever being at Disneyland Paris, so I'm going to try to accomplish as much as possible, but still, even though I go to like Walt Disney World and Disneyland all the time, it's hard to actually figure out a system inside the park, so I'm going to do my best to adapt the skills that I've learned from Florida and California and see if we can get everything done. It's so awesome how everything looks familiar, but yet very different. Disneyland City Hall, then they got the Storybook Store there, the Emporium right on the corner. I love how they also had this big gazebo right in the center because it still hides the castle a little bit. So as you take that turn, you get that grand reveal. And I can't wait to actually see it up close because from what I've seen online, this is definitely the superior castle. There are going to be so many surprises for me because honestly, I really didn't look at anything. Like I didn't look any at any ride throughs or anything like that. So when I'm riding a ride for the first time, I'm not going to know what happens. And a lot of people have told me some of the rides here are, are like the way better versions. Like Pirates is way better here and Big Thunder is way better. And also some people even told me that uh, Hyperspace Mountain is way better than any other Space Mountain around so I'm excited like I'm like giddy but I'm just so curious too I was wondering why there was a big line of people actually waiting over here and I figured hey maybe Mickey Mouse is coming out but no it's Winnie the Pooh look at that Winnie the Pooh is just meeting on Main Street USA that is incredible my mom would love that she loves Winnie the Pooh 
they have two different ways you can actually skip the line here for the longer awaited attractions. They have one where you can buy per ride and then they have the premier access where you can just show up and skip the line on any of the selected uh, attractions and it costs 190 euros per person and I opted to go all in. You know what I mean? This is my first time at Disneyland Paris and I just want to go. So we got the premier access and we're going to be able to ride all the rides that we want to without having to wait and uh, I'm excited for that. Here is a closer look at the castle and isn't it just magnificent? Holy moly, the mountain, everything. You can actually go down inside of it and there's a dragon underneath there and you can walk through it, but this is definitely by far the best castle I've ever seen. It's incredible. I'm gonna try my best to keep it cool, calm, and collected, but also I feel like I might be manic running around because I'm just so excited to be here. But I'm gonna try to keep it stable and a nice flow for the video because I also want you guys to see it and I want to share my experiences with you. Oh man, I can't wait to see the dragon. Look at this. All right. I think there is a parade or show about to happen, so we're gonna hang out here for a little bit. Hello, everyone. We're so glad to celebrate 30 years of magic with all of you today here in Disneyland Park. Please join us on Central Plaza where Mickey, Minnie, and all their friends invite you to dream and shine brighter. See you there in just 10 minutes. Wow. <laughs> They're getting out! <laughs> oh. What? I can't even believe this is happening right now. <laughs>
was incredible. I can't believe that is the way we are starting off our day. It was so awesome seeing all the characters and they performed, they performed right in the center there and they all rotated. I love that. I love the music too. It was amazing. Now it's time to head to Frontierland and ride Big Thunder Mountain and I'm so excited for that. And with our premiere access, we can just show up and ride it. Look at this. Oh, everything just looks amazing. I can't wait. Legends of the Wild West. Also, Phantom Manor is over here. So we might ride Phantom Manor right afterwards. DTH, you ready for that? Bro, you have no idea how excited I am to ride <laughs> their version of the Haunted Mansion. I know going to be insane. It's going to be incredible. Wow, look at this. Looks like the wait time's 45 minutes, but we do have that premiere access, so we're going to be able to skip the line. And I don't know which way it is, though. You use it just like you would in Disneyland, so I think you just stick it in there. There it goes. Thank you. I wonder if they say this is the wildest ride in the wilderness in French because that would be kind of cool. I don't even know how I would say that, but I don't know if I can say it the way that it should be said. That's the wildest ride in the wilderness. Here comes our train. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow. I got soaked. Look at that view. Oh. Look at the Phantom Manor. Here we go. <laughs> ah. insane right wow I can concur that that big thunder mountain is the best big thunder mountain it was so long and also I also recommend if you do ride it ride the back I didn't know that there would be so many like visual effects but it was outstanding and there's a part where you go into a dark area where you take a it felt like a huge drop and it caught me totally off guard but I loved it and now we got to move along and I'm so excited because I think we're gonna make our way to Phantom Manor this version of the Haunted Mansion <laughs> Look at how incredibly awesome the Phantom Manor looks from uh, down here, like it's up on a hill. Oh, I need to buy this. If they're selling these in the store and I can ship it back home, I'm gonna get one. Look at that. 
That is too cool. The premier access lets you walk right up to the front door. Look at this. Right up to the front door. Look at that. It appears everyone is doomed at that time. Even you? Notice this. This chamber has no windows and no doors, which offers you this chilly challenge to find a way out. <laughs> That was literally one of the best rides I have ever been on. It was a mixture between like Pirates, Haunted Mansion, and Big Thunder, and I thought it was phenomenal. So scary, actually. Like, it's way scarier than any other mansion out there, and I love the music, and I love the Phantom. That was literally A++, and I'm gonna remember that forever. I gotta do this ride over and over again. That's not the first time I'm doing this ride. I'll probably do this the most. Like, I'm so shocked now. I don't even know what to expect. I don't even know, I don't know how we can do better now. It's just, it's, it's incredible. I think we're gonna make our way over to Adventureland now and go see about the Indiana Jones ride. It's an outdoor roller coaster. I'm so excited for that. I mean, I, I feel like it's gonna be a good ride, but it's hard to actually top Indiana Jones in Disneyland, California. But hey, you never know. Being a Walt Disney World and Disneyland annual pass holder, I'm really contemplating on becoming a Disneyland Paris pass holder too. I mean, it would be so awesome to be able to say, hey, I'm an annual pass holder at three Disney parks all around the world. Oh man, if they're selling them, I might think about it. I really, honestly, I really am considering it. They actually have a paddy wagon here, a Main Street Police Department paddy wagon that you can ride as part of the Main Street transportation. That is so awesome. Wow, and just look at the castle from this angle. It is just so beautiful. 
and I love how we got some stormy clouds up there. We might get a little rain, but I think it's just gonna come and go. The rain's not gonna be here long. But yeah, like I said before, I think we're gonna make our way over into Adventureland. Into the unknown. My voice is so shot from singing so much. <laughs> This also reminds me of Epcot in Morocco, kind of. Look at that, this is very pretty. The theming in the areas are really nice. Except for, uh, they're, uh, they're definitely a little bit small, but still very cool. But here it is, Indiana Jones, right here in Adventureland. I'm very excited to ride this ride. I don't know what to expect. Some people say it's really good. I'm uh, already impressed, so I'm sure it's gonna be amazing. Oh, look at this, warning. 360 loop ahead. Down. Wow, intense shaking and turbulence. <laughs> very bumpy rough ride there wasn't much theming to it though I thought maybe there would be like an indoor section but what you saw is basically what you get and it kind of knocks you around a little bit it hurt a little bit I don't think I'm gonna be doing that one again not on this trip but you know of course I come back I gotta at least do it one more time but I'm glad I got to say at least at least I did it I also feel like the queue probably was more themed than the actual attractions. Like I like all of the statues and stuff like that. But uh, like I said, you know, you can't, can't win them all Disneyland Paris. Also, a quick recap on using the Premier Access. I'm starting to come to the realization that uh, it's probably not the best bet on a day like today. So far from what I'm seeing, the wait times haven't been that long and I could purchase individual ones, but I didn't want to risk anything, you know what I mean? First time here, I was just like, take my money, let me have fun, and I'm just gonna go with the flow. But you live and you learn, you know? Now I think we're gonna make our way over to Pirates of the Caribbean, but I also wanna get something to eat first. There is a Pirates of the Caribbean restaurant, I think it's called Captain Jack's, that uh, I have a reservation for and I would like to stop at. So maybe we'll do that first to get us all excited to ride the ride. And also, I'm a little hungry. I could use some coffee. The theming in each of the lands is so awesome. Like I said, they're small, but holy moly, I'm really in love with it. You can see pirates right over there. Right out front, they have a pirate ship. They have a pirate ship in front of Pirates of the Caribbean. Not only do they have a pirate ship outside of Pirates, but they also have Captain Hook and Shmee. Look at that. Wow. Also, I want to point out that Someone told me today is a busy day in the park. It's a sold out day. So if that's the case, then we are doing amazing because it feels like such a slow day compared to Walt Disney World. The wait times are so low. Look at the facade for uh, Pirates. Oh, Captain Jack's is this way. So we're doing Captain Jack's first and then Pirates. And then we're coming back. I'm coming back for you, baby.
they have a uh, app just like the My Disney Experience app. So I've been just selecting restaurants to sit down because I want to see them all. And this one popped up and I was like, I got to get it. I'm hoping it's kind of like the Blue Bayou, like the setting and the same thing with the Grand Fiesta Tour. So we'll see. Look at that. Captain Jack's Restaurant Pirates. I'm sure they have drinks in here too because I think I could see Captain Jack drinking some rum on the sign. <laughs> I have a feeling this is gonna be a dark restaurant so I'm not too sure how filming in here is gonna work but I'll make sure to let you guys know what I think once we get done. Never mind, I take that back. The lighting in here looks incredible. We are on the ride. Oh wow. This is so cool. Here is a look at the menu. They have a selection of a la carte items or they have the Pirate's Treasure menu and it's 45, dur uh, 45 euros and you get uh, a starter, a main course and a dessert. But honestly, I think I'm just gonna stick to one main course and maybe a dessert. And the only reason I say dessert is because they have a fruit soup, an actual exotic fruit soup. And you guys know I'm a big soup guy. Big soup guy, I've never had fruit soup before though. I was thinking it was gonna be super dark in here, but there is like plenty of light. And I love how we are actually in the ride for pirates. Like I can see pirates going by right now. You probably can, I, I mean, I could try to show you, but I can't wait to ride that after this. I'm really happy though that this is such a nicely themed restaurant. Like it's perfect. Can you imagine riding Pirates of the Caribbean and just look over? Because like, you know, in that one scene where you see a bunch of pirates like, you know, drinking and having fun, Kind of what you would see right here. Give me a couple more of those rums. I decided on going with the Caribbean chicken and prawns with uh, rice. And they said it's like a curry and then also a little rum. You know, when at Captain Jack's, you gotta drink some rum. And I think it's just literally rum. Like it's just rum on ice maybe. Uh, nice little sipper, but felt like it was appropriate. Look at the glass they serve my rum in. Right? It's tiki -ish. It is tiki ish. Put it in your purse. <laughs> Put it in your purse. <laughs> they also give you coconut bread. Ooh, it's so warm. Oh, this looks like good bread. One for you, one for me. Here is my Caribbean chicken with prawns and then my rice. Look at that. Very good. And then DTH got the cod. Oh yeah. Look at that. Um, one thing I have to say about uh, the service over here, it's like so fast. Like we just sat down and it's already out here. Look at that. It's so fast and incredible. All right, here we go. Gonna try it. Look at the size of the chicken, Harry. This is very delicious. Not as good as the curry I had in London, but it'll do the trick. And also, the rice is really good. Overall, I really like the experience in here. It's a fun atmosphere. My food is really good, but now it's time for the fruit soup. I'm, I don't even know what that is. I'm just literally thinking liquid soup is gonna come out, but maybe it's like a fruit salad. I don't know, I have no idea what to expect. Here is the fruit soup. I'm not even sure what's in there, but I like all fruits, so. I don't think there's gonna be any issue. It looks good. It looks a little chunky. I love documenting my first time trying something I've never had before because it's really awesome to see the shock factor uh, whether or not I'm gonna like it or I'm not gonna like it. So here we go, fruit soup. It's definitely interesting. It is soup. It's like a a liquid fruit salad, basically. I'm probably going in and out, but it's like a, it is, it's like a liquid fruit salad with whipped cream. That was a beautifully themed restaurant. The food was good, but it wasn't like overall amazing. Uh, and if you're a big fan of Pirates, you're gonna love that restaurant. And I am a big fan of Pirates. And now we're gonna go ride Pirates. And I'm excited, what a combination. Captain Jack's and then Pirates of the Caribbean right afterwards. 
interesting thing I just found out, Pirates is not included on the Premier Access. Luckily, it's only a 25 minute wait, but kind of caught me off guard since we paid so much money for it. We were just eating in that restaurant and now we're on the ride. Look at that. Pirates was so much fun. It's a mixture between Disney World and Disneyland. I do have to say Disneyland's Pirates is way better than this one, but Disneyland Paris has a better one than Walt Disney World and more updated animatronics. And the scenes are like in different order, which it makes it nice because it's a surprise, you know what I mean? Around the corner, you don't know what's gonna happen next. But uh, we're gonna keep moving along Adventureland and continue our day. So far, we've gotten a lot accomplished in just a little under an hour and a half. It's only been an hour and a half. I'm in love with the Main Street USA here. We got Lily's Boutique, items for a home sweet home. Then you've got the Main Street Motors over here, the fine china and porcelains. Like all of this is just so cool. I don't even know what they got on Market Street, I would assume. Oh, they got a Market House uh, little deli here. That is so awesome. And it's actually like an outdoor eating, like sitting area. I wonder what they got. It must be just clothes inside there. But each thing I'm just looking at so like close. Is that a barber shop over there? Man, I'd love to get my hair cut. That'd be awesome. I seen the little thing and I was like, ooh, barber shop. No way. Its name is Dapper Dan's. Dapper Dan's barber shop. Well, Dapper Dan's haircuts. I wonder if I can go in and get a haircut. I will, I will die. It's gotta be, it has to be, uh, whatchamacallit, appointment omen. Like, expert hair cutting and mustache trims. This is absolutely incredible. They do like actual shaving hair, like head shaving and stuff like that. Look at it, Dapper Dan's. It's a uh, walk-in, uh, it's walk-in only, and they're full up today, but I'm coming back. I gotta get a haircut, look at, look at this. If I don't get my beard trimmed at Dapper Dance before I leave, like that's, that's, and it's literally first come first serve. And I think that is so crazy. And he said sometimes hey, there's nobody in line, but today's such a busy day that uh, they're all booked up for the day. But man, that would be awesome. I'm like, can I get my hair cut? And then I'm like, I'm bald. I mean, I, I just want to get, I just want to get lined up a little bit, a little lined up by Dapper Dance, you know? I think I'm gonna step into the Boardwalk Candy Palace. This is kind of like the confectionery, I would assume. And uh, maybe grab myself a nice little sweet treat. A little sweet treat. Oh, look at Atlantic City, 1892. Look at all these Disney macarons. Look, I, I, I pronounced that very, very strongly. And they have Mickey and they have Minnie and they're all different flavors. They have Donald who is lemon. I love it. I think we're gonna get some. Get some. Of course, they actually fit perfectly where we're at. They also have a really big stock of Lay's potato chips in here. We've got Lay's 3D like bugles. That's funny. They've got the chicken rote Lay's. And then we even got some Mickey and Frozen Cars pasta right here. All the funny things. Oh, and a cookie. A cookie jar. Look at this. I actually like this cookie jar and it comes with cookies inside of it actually. I can see a lot of Michael Eisner in this park. Like, you know, this is his baby. This was his big project and you can see it everywhere. As my friend uh, Sean would say, I could smell Michael Eisner whenever he walks through MGM Studios. I could smell Michael Eisner here. This is what we ended up getting. Look at them. Precious little beauties. Protect them at all cost. They crush very easily. I think we're gonna start with the Mickey one first. Try these little babies out. 
Also, look at me representing Florida, eating on top of a trash can, just like Epcot. Eating macarons on top of a trash can in Disneyland Paris. Look at that. <laughs> now it's time for Donald Duck. Donald Duck, I think Donald's vanilla, actually. Oh no, it's lemon! Now I remember, oh, it's so good! Wow! You ever take a bite of something and you're expecting something different? That was my reaction right there. <laughs> it's so good. As I was sitting out here eating my macarons, I've uh, seen the Market House Deli, and they have a Mickey beignet celebrating, uh, I think probably the 30th. I don't know, I wouldn't mind a little Mickey beignet. Or they actually have a uh, sandwich too. Look at that. A pain, a pretzel, a pretzel, a pretzel bread, ham, cheese, and the laughing cow cheese. The laughing cow? Everybody's got a laughing cow. This is so interesting. Everything is basically grab yourself. So I want to grab one of these Mickey beignets. Which one? Wait, there's different ones. This is chocolate. This is chocolate hazelnut up top. And then this one is apricot on the bottom. I want chocolate hazelnut. That's the way. This is a big Mickey beignet. There we go. And then also, I'm gonna get one of these bad boys right here. Look at that. I shouldn't have went in there, guys. Because I see things that I'm like, oh wow, I, I don't have this stuff back in Florida or in California, and I'm like, I gotta try it. And then I buy too much, and then I have all this food. But luckily, DTH is here, so he's gonna eat some of it. I mean, you're gonna eat everything. <laughs> I'm not gonna be like, here, here, here. Uh I got a gigantic Madeline. I got a hazelnut Mickey beignet. I'm honestly not too sure about this beignet though. More, It looks like a donut to me. And then I got this gigantic butter biscuit. This gigantic butter biscuit. Only because it says Disneyland Paris on it and I got excited. First things first, we're gonna try the Mickey beignet. And like I said, I, I don't have high expectations for this already. I could tell it's something I don't know, I, I just have a funny feeling. It's not like the Mickey beignets that I'm used to. So, ears first, always. Yeah, it's kind of like I thought it was gonna be. It's just like a donut, really. I mean, I think they have to bring this in. I don't know if they baked them here. If they did bake them here, I feel like it would taste a little bit fresher. Now, some people have, told, uh, some people have warned me Disneyland Paris is not good with their food. Where's the hazelnut? It must be only in the center of the bottom, Mickey. They don't probably put hazelnut in the ears. Now it's time to get to the butter biscuit. Ooh, it actually broke pretty easily. And I got the coffee already, so I'm good to go. I mean, don't be fooled. I got this butter biscuit just because it said Disneyland Paris. But I'm interested to see if it's any good, especially since I have a coffee right now. So we're gonna take a bite and then wash it down with the coffee. Ooh. All right, the butter biscuit was a little bit of a redemption. That's actually pretty decent. And it's really good with the coffee. Really, really good with the coffee. I'm missing my iced coffees though. I ended up getting just a Americano with uh, milk and then I had to ask for ice on the side. But yeah, that's good. I could actually sip on that and eat it. Now that we basically tried a whole bunch of uh, little snacks from Main Street, I think it's time to move along and make our way back on some more rides and use up that uh, priority access pass. Or the, yeah, I think it's, no, whatever one it is. As I was making my way down Main Street, I forgot that you can actually get champagne here. You can buy champagne and sip it on Main Street. So of course we had to do it. Look at that. It's got a little 30th too on the uh, glass. I never thought in a million years I'd be drinking champagne on Main Street, but here we are. Cheers. Cheers to 30 years. Very good. What's even crazier is we're just walking around with it. Just having a good Cheers. time. Cheers. Having a good time. <laughs> just having a good time. Wow. I, you know, I'm kind of loving Disneyland Paris. The lovely bubbly. Yeah, the lovely bubbly. <laughs> we're gonna take our champagne and we're gonna actually head on over to Discover, uh, Discover Land, which is their version of Tomorrowland. And I think it's time for Hyperspace Mountain. I'm so excited. 
Of course, a little champagne beforehand is definitely uh, a nice little touch. If you don't, uh, I don't know what I'm saying. You don't mind me saying? <laughs> if you don't mind me saying. <laughs> Look at how cool Discover Land is. Wow, and there's Hyperspace Mountain. Very cool, and it's awesome to see the uh, little entrance points here too. Look at them. Wow, this is cool. I'm so happy to be here. Oh, this is like a whole nother dream come true right here. Hyperspace Mountain out here actually goes outside a little bit. You see it right there? This is gonna be great. Now this is a Star Wars uh, like themed overlay that's just permanent here. It's always gonna be that and it's just so amazing. Here it is, look at that. And you can see the Star Wars in the background there. And it's totally different than the Hyperspace Mountain over in Disneyland. I can't wait. Look at those cool looking trees over there though. Uh, they look angry. I can't even believe it. This is incredible. <laughs> what side are we picking? We're going on this side. Does it matter what side? It's the same. It goes in the same tunnel, right? It's like Thunder Mountain. Oh yeah. These harnesses are a little bit strange. I've never seen harnesses like that. Oh, yeah. ah! 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 <laughs> wow, Hyperspace Mountain is insane. Like basically make like rock and roller coaster mixed with Space Mountain, mixed with Expedition Everest, and all together. And it also reminded me a little bit of Guardians of the Galaxy as well. That is a superior ride for Disney, and I loved it so much. I'm sorry, um, it's probably not any good, the footage anyway. Like there's probably, like I said, it would be all dark, but it's incredible. On our Premier Access, we have Autotopia, Star Tours, and Buzz Lightyear Laser Blast, and Peter Pan's Flight Leftover. So you don't get every attraction, kind of like Disneyland. Uh, so I think we're going to do Buzz Lightyear since it's in this area. Premier Access, please. Thank you. Is he speaking? Is his, is his switch switched over to a different language? <laughs> Pendant que vous autres vous concentrerez sur les hommes, vous vous retrouverez sur la planète 7. This is a competition here, all right? Take a picture of your high score if you dare. <laughs> Look at how cool these guns are. They actually come off. Oh. <laughs> Attention, Angel de l'espace. Vous avez atterri sur la planète Z. Soyez prêts à tout. Attention, Space Rangers. You land on my planet. Five nine two. What did you get? No. No. Five nine two zero zero. Oh, we got so good. Oh, 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 right here. So far, every version of a ride that already exists in this park has been better, in my opinion. Buzz Lightyear was great, and my trigger finger hurts because it's actually one you don't get to hold in. You actually have to shoot each time, and that was so awesome. I loved it. We're gonna make our way to Fantasyland next, but first I wanna take Dustin down through the dungeon and show him the dragon, and you can see Sleeping Beauty Castle starting to actually turn on and get lit up. This has been an <laughs> unforgettable day. <laughs> unforgettable day. Look at this. Earlier when we came in to see the dragon, I didn't know that we can actually go through the castle up top and walk up the steps, but you can, and there's a little store. This is cool. This is incredible in here. Holy moly. Oh, 
I have that name tag? It only keeps getting better, guys. You can actually go up inside the castle. I'm going up there real quick. Oh, or maybe I should wait. I'm gonna wait. Look at this, though. You just go up them steps. Wow, this is so cool. This is definitely the best castle Disney has ever made. <laughs> is there a restaurant up there, or is it just up there you walk around? I don't know. All right, Peter Pan's flight is next. Premier access. This is coming in handy because that's a 40 minute ride. Still haven't seen the overall better benefit for it though. Why are these boats like this? Look at it. They're four seater. And away we go. Just a quick Disneyland Paris appreciation moment. I want to show you guys something that I stopped and I looked and I said, wow, that's cool. They have actual fire in the lamp post up there. And also I thought this was just going into another store alongside Main Street, but I found out that this is a whole nother walkway indoors though. Look at this. I had no idea. It goes all the way out to the park. This is so awesome, next level, and I bet you it eliminates crowd. I mean, I bet you this is huge for crowd control. Look at the gazebo all lit up too. Wow. I like that a lot. I bet you it's a good spot to watch the fireworks inside there. Dear friends, Disney Delight will begin in just 10 minutes. Thank you. Disney Delight. And now, Disney Delight. Depuis 30 ans, Disneyland Paris accueille les rêveurs de tous les âges du monde entier. For 30 years, Disneyland Paris has welcomed dreamers of all ages from all around the world. Il y a tellement de magie et de lumière à l'intérieur de nos rêves. There's something so magical shining from all of our dreams. Alors aujourd'hui, que diriez-vous de rêver plus loin, de sourire plus grand et de rire plus fort? So now, we invite you to dream bigger, smile wider, and laugh louder. Together, let's make the future brighter than ever. Ensemble, rendons l'avenir plus brillant que jamais. La magie ne fait que commencer. The magic, it's just begun.
And with that, I think we are done here today. That drone show and fireworks show was amazing. It was almost like World of Color and uh, Happily Ever After combined. I thought it was amazing. And uh, yeah, that's a wrap. Day one, my dogs are barking. I have been going non-stop and loving every single moment of it. I've been in three countries the past week, three different time zones, and I am still just full of excitement. I average like four hours of sleep a night because I'm just so like, just like happy to be here. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep making videos. So I hope you enjoyed this one and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.